Hey y'all, welcome to part two. We'll be exploring this beautiful Sam name, Kalua, today. I really feel like I'm butchering that name. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure you do so that you'll be all caught up. <clears throat> so let's get back to the unfolding story of Shay and Jay. The never-ending butterflies in Shay's stomach couldn't match the comfort and security of Jay's embrace. Locked into what seemed like the longest and shortest kiss ever, Shay was trapped in between worlds and was at peace with the imbalance. One of Jay's arms wrapped around Shay's waist while the other gently embraced the side of her face. The nighttime summer breeze mixed with the heat between the two of them capped the night off perfectly. Jay, who clearly was not as drunk as Shay assumed, drove Shay home in silence, knowing that he had crossed a line that he didn't want to return from. Jay didn't want to ruin the friendship between the two, but you miss all the shots you don't take, right? As the two pulled up to Shay's house, Jay finally looked over at Shay as she gathered her things before she exited his ride. You good? Jay asked. Yeah, I'm good, Shay replied. We good? Shay asked reluctantly. Shay chuckled and with a side eye replied, <laughs> Yeah, we good, Jay, as she opened the car door and welcomed the summer breeze once more. The silence between the two was odd, of course, but for Jay, it didn't seem like a bad thing. Jay leaned over and shouted out of the passenger window, We still on for the basketball game tomorrow, Shay? Shay turned around with her house door halfway open and shook her head yes as she walked inside and shut the door. The day of the basketball game, Jay, unlike any other time ever, took extra time getting dressed and was actually nervous to pick up Shay. Jay pulled up to Shay's house and as usual, Shay was already ready to go. Shay was a prompt kind of woman like that. You look nice, said Jay. Thanks, said Shay. They both were clearly acting and feeling different, yet neither of them wanted to talk about what happened the night before. Finally, after about 15 minutes of riding in silence yet again, Shay cut the music down and looked over at Jay. Why would you kiss me? Why not, said Jay. You have a whole girl like, what the fuck, man? Why would you make shit weird between us? Jay, overwhelmed with feelings of wanting a repeat ending as the night before, pulled his car over onto the shoulder of the expressway. What you want me to say? I'm sorry, cause I'm not. I don't know why I kissed you, but I know I don't regret it. And you only trying to make it seem like I fucked something up between us because you liked it too. Tell me I'm lying, Shay. Shay, looking soft and sweet, a way Jay never saw her before, took a deep breath before replying. <sighs> you not lying. So what's up, Jay replied. I don't know, Jay. I'm so confused. This is not supposed to be happening between us. You have a girl and she already feels some type of way about me. If she finds out, this will crush her and I don't want that. It was just a kiss, Shay, said Jay. Was it just a kiss, Jay? Shay replied. Man, come on. I, no, it wasn't just a kiss. I've been liking you, Shay. What the hell? Shay replied. So that wasn't just on some random type shit? Hell no. You know how long it took me to even work up the nerve to even try to kiss you? Look, I have a girl, not a wife, so don't act like shit can't change real quick. Shay looked at Jay with a look of disgust as Jay pulled back onto the expressway. So you would break up with your girl just like that? Like she means nothing to you? That's fucked up, Jay. I would for you, Jay replied. Shay looked over at Jay and shook her head. Trash. You men are straight trash. Jay began to laugh and turn the music back up. After the game, like so many other times before, 
Jay began his journey back to Shay's house. That game was good as fuck, said Shay, as she ate the remainder of Jay's soft pretzel. You still can't cook? Jay asked off topic. Uh, I do what I can, replied Shay, knowing that her best meals were either ramen or grilled cheese. Finally, they arrived to Shay's house, and as usual, Jay lowered his music and Shay began to gather her things. As Shay opened the car door, Jay knew he didn't want the night to end. As he placed his hand on Shay's thigh, Shay turned around and Jay asked, Can I make you breakfast? Shay began to part her lips to reply, but decided instead to place her leg back inside the car and shut the door as Jay, without saying a word, slowly drove off. <laughs>